we all have highs and lows in our life that can boost or lower our self-esteem. Things just seem to happen. Sometimes when you're down, it's hard to feel good about yourself. Here are some thoughts that help me, when it comes to people who always want to argue, make the choice not to be always right but happy. Let them worry about it, not you. Two sides of us that makes decisions, one is fear the other is faith. We do things out of one of these two powers. Faith will take you where you want to go, to be free and happy one must first free themselves of negative talks with others, small battles, being in the think of thin things. Be thankful for what you have, we all have something, it might be small, but be thankful for it and soon what you have will grow. Also you will feel better about it. When you are grateful fear disappears and abundance appears. Set a small goal for yourself, find a small rock, and keep it with you until you reach your goal. Now place the rock in a jar where you can see it. Start a new goal get a new rock, soon you will have a jar full of colorful rocks. All people must overcome great things, that's what makes great stories. A wise person will be master of his mind and bad habits, a fool will be its slave. You're not a fool. If you must play the game, or be in a job, agree on three things ahead of time, when to quit, how long before you move on, what you will learn. If you want to be successful, double your rate of failure. Also find someone who has done what you want to do, next to engineer what they did. Two kinds of mistakes in the world, one trying something new, second kind is not trying anything or doing anything. Never beat yourself up or let others beat you up for trying. Only those who are dead make no mistakes. An expert in a field is someone who made all the mistakes you can make in a field. Never let what you cannot do stop you from doing what you can do. Judge each day by not the harvest you reap but by the seeds that you plant. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Never measure the height of a mountain until you have reached the top. Then you will see how low it was. It's not your blue blood, your pedigree or your college degree. It's what you do with your life that counts. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. It was when I found out I could make mistakes that I knew I was on to something. A successful person is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks that others throw at him. Use what talent you possess. The woods would be very silent if no birds sang except those that sing best. The only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. The indispensable first step to getting the things you want out of life is this, decide what you want out of life. Write the bad things that happen to you in sand, but write the good things that happen to you on a piece of marble. If you believe you can do it or not, you are 100% right. So believe you can. You are never given a wish without also being given the power to make it come true. God has given each of us the ability to do certain things well. When dealing with people, remember you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but with creatures of emotion, creatures bristling with prejudice, and motivated by pride and vanity. If God had a refrigerator, your picture would be on it. If he had a wallet, your photo would be in it. He sends you flowers every spring. Whenever you want to talk, he listen. Most people give up just when they're about to achieve success. They quit on the one yard line. They give up at the last minute of the game just one foot from a winning touchdown. Aerodynamically, the bumblebee shouldn't be able to fly, but the bumblebee doesn't know it so it goes on flying anyway. Experience is not what happens to you, it's what you do with what happens to you. Like the grand trees on earth. What nutrients and water we intake, impacts how we flourish. Unlike the trees, we have the freedom of choice to put our roots in bitter or good soil. So pick good soil, in your job, career, life if you plan to win, make sure it's a game worth winning. If not, find one that is. There is more to life than increasing its speed and getting to the end faster. Enjoy the ride each day, drive slowly. Stop and smell the flowers. The one who dies with the most toys is still dead. The one who enjoyed what they had, lived a full enjoyable life. Saying yes to something, automatically means you say no to something else. 
Many of top people in the world, pride themselves on how many times they have said no. Do what you enjoy. Big difference in what you enjoy and what you're addicted to. In America we can be addicted to a lot of things. You can plan all day, but it's taking action that matters. Have a plan or you will end up working for someone who does. Remember most of all, God does not make junk and he made you. Hope this helps, take care. From the website dyslexiamylife.com. Find more click on self-esteem.